Welcome to See Before See Today. Today, we're diving into Longmire, the TV series we all know and love. We'll rewind to 2012 and fast forward to 2023 to see how the cast has changed. Longmire, the gripping crime drama that ran from 2012 to 2017, following Sheriff Walt Longmire as he tackled the challenges of law enforcement in a picturesque Wyoming town. Join us as we explore the lives and careers of the main and supporting cast. Get ready for an exciting journey as we revisit Longmire like never before. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on our channel. Now let's start with Cassidy Freeman, the versatile actress known for her roles in Smallville, The Righteous Gemstones, and Longmire. Cassidy, born on April 22, 1982, in Chicago, Illinois, portrayed Katie Longmire in Longmire. She was just 30 when the series began in 2012 and is now 41. After Longmire, she continued to shine. She appeared in NCIS New Orleans, starred in Fender Bender, and played roles in The Righteous Gemstones and The Forever Purge. Cassidy's talents extend beyond acting. She's also a musician and a vocal advocate. She's a mother, and in 2017, she spoke out against predatory behavior. Currently, she's been part of The Righteous Gemstones since 2021 and appeared in The Forever Purge in 2021. Let's now delve into the journey of Luann Stevens, the talented actress known for her role as Ruby in Longmire. Luann, a Texan native, embarked on her acting career in 1985. Unfortunately, her birth date remains a mystery, so we can't ascertain her age when Longmire debuted in 2012 or her current age. Following Longmire, she continued her artistic journey, which included a memorable appearance in the comedy series Reservation Dogs in 2021 and a guest appearance in the series Better Call Saul in 2022. Luann highly values her privacy, but has shared the story of her remarkable 54-year marriage with her husband, Michael Stevens, a nephrologist. She's a dedicated reader, writer, and advocate for education, actively engaging with her fans on Twitter. Her most recent work includes the musical mystery Vengeance in 2022. Now, let's delve into the journey of Bailey Chase, renowned for his role as Deputy Branch Connolly in Longmire. Born on May 1, 1972 in Chicago, Illinois, Bailey was 40 when Longmire debuted in 2012 and is now 51. Following his role in Longmire, he made appearances in series like Grimm, Twin Peaks, Queen of the South, and SWAT. He also ventured into films including Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Far Haven in 2023. Bailey values his privacy, but has been happily married to Amy Wilson since 2012, with three children. They call North Carolina their home. His recent work includes the 2023 TV series film Far Haven. Now let's see Charles S. Dutton, the remarkable actor who portrayed Detective Fales in Longmire. Born on January 30, 1951, Dutton was 61 when he made his mark in Longmire and is now 72. Charles S. Dutton's life is an inspiring story of triumph over adversity. He discovered his passion for theater while incarcerated and went on to become an award-winning actor in film, television, and theater. Dutton's personal life includes a marriage to actress Debbie Morgan in December 1989, which sadly ended in divorce in 1994. He now resides on a farm in Howard County, Maryland. His works after Longmire include films like The Monkey's Paw, The Perfect Guy, and Carter High. He took a hiatus from acting after the 2016 short film Veneration. Let's explore the life of Graham Greene, the renowned Canadian indigenous actor celebrated for his outstanding career in theater, film, and television. Born on June 22, 1952 in the Six Nations Reserve, Oswaken, Ontario, Canada, Graham's path led him from diverse jobs to an Oscar-nominated acting career. At 71, he continues to captivate audiences worldwide with memorable roles in Dances with Wolves, Thunderheart, Maverick, and The Green Mile. He also graced the TV series Longmire as the enigmatic Malachi Strand. In 2023, at 71, Graham remains active in the entertainment industry with projects like Bones of Crows, the series, and Reservation Dogs. He's also involved in upcoming productions like Lily's Sacred Journey and The Birds Who Fear Death. Beyond acting, Graham is a devoted family man, married to Hillary Blackmore since 1990 with two children. He practices shamanism, 
advocates for indigenous rights, and maintains a deep connection to indigenous culture and spirituality. Next, let's explore the career of Adam Bartley, known for his portrayal of Deputy Archie the Ferg Ferguson. Born on January 28, 1979, in Minnesota, Adam was just 33 when he embarked on his role as the Ferg in Longmire. Today, at 44, Adam continues his remarkable journey in the entertainment industry. Adam's acting career began when he fell in love with theater in the seventh grade. He studied acting at the Southern Methodist University in Dallas and later performed in various local theater companies. His professional acting career took off in 2011, and he has since appeared in notable TV series and films. In 2022, Adam had a recurring role in the Amazon Studios and legendary television series Night Sky and is set to portray Richard in the upcoming series Candy scheduled for 2022. Let's explore the journey of A. Martinez, the versatile actor and singer known for his role as Jacob Nighthorse in Longmire. Born Adolfo LaRue Martinez III on September 27, 1948 in Glendale, California, A. Martinez was 64 when he embarked on his role as Jacob Nighthorse. Today, at 75, he continues to impress audiences. A Martinez's career has remained vibrant with recent projects like the TV series Dark Winds, 2023, a gripping crime drama set on a Native American reservation in New Mexico, and films such as Ambulance, 2022, and Far Haven, 2023. In his personal life, a Martinez has been happily married to Leslie Bryan since 1982, with three children. He has a deep love for music and sports, even being part of a rock band and a semi-professional baseball team. Now, let's dive into the journey of Zahn McLarnon, the talented actor known for his remarkable roles in Longmire, Fargo, Westworld, and more. Born in Denver, Colorado to a hunk papa Lakota mother and an Irish-American father, Zahn McLarnon's diverse heritage shaped his incredible career. From Longmire, where he was 46 when the series debuted, to Fargo, his performances have captivated audiences. His portrayal of Hansi Dent in Fargo garnered critical acclaim. At 57, Zahn McLarnon continues to shine. He currently leads the cast in AMC's Dark Winds and will reprise his role as William Lopez in Echo. Beyond the screen, McLarnon remains a passionate advocate for indigenous rights. He's single with no children and a dedicated supporter of his cultural heritage. Now, let's spotlight the versatile Lou Diamond Phillips, renowned for his iconic portrayal of Richie Valens in La Bamba, 1987. Yet, his journey doesn't end there. Lou gained recognition with hits like Young Guns and Courage Under Fire. However, it was La Bamba that catapulted him to stardom, embodying the legendary Richie Valens. In Longmire, at the 50 age, he charmed audiences as Henry Standing Bear, adding depth to the character. Behind the scenes, Lou's life matches his dynamic career. With four marriages and five children, his current spouse is Yvonne Boismier. After Longmire, Lou's journey thrives. From guest spots in series to voice roles in animations, his versatility knows no bounds. In 2023, at the 61 age, Phillips ventures into new cinematic projects, including the eagerly awaited Guns 3, alias Billy the Kid sequel, and voicing in Firebuds. Lou Diamond Phillips remains passionate about his Longmire role and expresses interest in potential spin-off films based on Craig Johnson's original books. Let's now spotlight the versatile KT Sackhoff, a powerhouse in the entertainment world. From Battlestar Galactica to The Mandalorian, her journey has been extraordinary. KT Sackhoff's career soared with her iconic role as Lieutenant Kara Starbuck Thrace in Battlestar Galactica. Her talent spans genres, from the commanding Vic Moretti in Longmire, which she took on at 32, to Bo-Katan Kreisey in The Mandalorian and Star Wars animated series. Katie's stellar work earned Saturn Award nominations and a 2005 win for Best Supporting Actress in Television. Her filmography includes Halloween Resurrection and Oculus. Born in Portland, Oregon, Katie's path to stardom began in her teens when she moved to L.A. to pursue acting. In Longmire, her portrayal of Vic Moretti gave viewers insight into her character's intriguing backstory. In 2023, at 42, Katie Sackhoff continues captivating audiences with secret projects. She's committed to philanthropy, supporting the Make-A-Wish Foundation and Stand Up to Cancer. Personally, Katie found love with Robin Gadsby, 
and in 2021, the couple adopted their daughter, Lola. Our journey through the world of Longmire culminates as we spotlight the incomparable Robert Taylor, the actor behind the beloved Sheriff Walt Longmire, whose portrayal has left an indelible mark. Born in Melbourne, Australia in 1963, Robert Taylor embarked on his acting journey, breathing life into Longmire at the age of 49 when the series debuted in 2012. Post-Longmire, Taylor ventured into a diverse range of film projects, including Focus, Kong, Skull Island, The Meg, and Into the Ashes. On the small screen, he graced us with his presence in Blood Vessel and Don't Tell, showcasing his versatility across genres. As of 2023, Robert Taylor is involved in four exciting projects, including the series The Newsreader, which he has been a part of since 2021. Beyond the silver screen, Robert Taylor is a loving husband to producer Aisha Davies and a devoted father to his daughter Scarlett. He's also an environmental activist, co-founding a farmer's market and community gardens in St. Kilda, Victoria. In conclusion, we've taken you on a captivating journey through the lives of the talented actors and actresses from the beloved series Longmire. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up and comment below. Your feedback means the world to us. Stay tuned for more exciting content and explore our channel. Until next time, see you in the next video.